Hello guys, welcome, my name is Wim. In this video, I want to take you guys through how you can use our newly released product, the Stylized Pine Environment, in order to create a beautiful environment yourself. So, whether you are familiar with creating and arranging environments or not, I'm going to step-by-step step take you through what the setup is for this product and then how you can uh, make whatever level you feel like making. All right, guys, let's hop into Unreal and get started. All right, step one is to add the stylized pine environment to your project. Once added to your project, you can go ahead into the folder. You can go into maps and then you can go into the demo map. This is the level that we have pre-made for you guys so that you can have a look at how I set everything up in here. Now let's go ahead and make our own level, create a folder called maps. Inside of the maps folder, we're gonna click on top left, new level, empty level. We're going to save this one to the maps folder. I'm going to call it our level. Give it whatever name you feel like giving it. Then we go back into the Stylus Pine environment, into maps, into the demo scene. We're going to copy. So hold shift and select all of these. Control copy. Go back to your own map. This one. Control V for pasting it in here. Now we have beautiful light in here. Then the next step is that we're going to generate a landscape. I recommend enabling editing layers, then you can actually remove landscape data. For the material, type in landscape. And then the MI, the material instance, is the one you want to select. Put your location on zero is what I recommend, and then select the size for your landscape. This sizes are fine for now. So hit create. Here we go, now we have a landscape. Then go over to paint. Here we are going to have to select all of the landscape materials, so simply Click the drop down and start by assigning all of the landscape layers. Now we have a beautiful landscape. Now we can go ahead and actually sculpt it the way that we like it. So go to the sculpting tool, hit the sculpt tool. You can change your radius and your strength for sculpting here. So let's go ahead and create some beautiful mountains, something like this. The auto landscape material automatically generates the rock where the rock is supposed to be. Fill up the map in the background. And I always like creating a big mountain on the edge of the map, so something like this. So for the map itself, I also recommend sculpting it a little bit. So make your sculpting tool a little bit smaller. Hold shift and left click to create these holes in the landscape. And then just click in order to create these mountains. So go ahead, make whatever you feel like. You can also use the smoothing tool to smooth things out. So if you were too rough on certain areas, go ahead and smooth them out. All right. You can also go to the noise tool and this will automatically uh, make some height or some lower areas. You can always control Z to reverse. Then what I recommend doing is going into the foliage tool over here, and we're going to drag in the main foliage that we want to spawn using this foliage tool. So we go over to assets, meshes, then we can go over to trees. I recommend just selecting the main trees, putting them in here. And then there's a couple settings that we have to apply for these ones. So if you select them all, hold shift, select them all. Then the settings that I recommend is a density of one for trees, a radius of 50. 50 radius means they get spawned 50 apart from each other. Uh, I recommend a scale of one to one and a half. And I recommend turning off the align to normal. What this does is that when you place a tree on a side here, so on a hill like this, then it will still place the tree upright instead of curving the tree with the landscape. So if align normal is on like standard, then it will be spawned on like this and that's not really what you want so turn off the align to normal to get this result then what i recommend doing is actually selecting only a couple of trees that you feel that belong together put them on the edges of the forest like this instead of actually holding left mouse button and dragging i recommend just clicking it just gives a cleaner result and it gives you more control Then go ahead and select one single tree that you want to place. And this can really start to create your environment. Make sure that you place a variety of trees. You don't always want the same type of trees.
Then what I recommend is putting the flowers into the foliage tool. Just simply drag them in, select them all. The settings that I recommend for these is a density of 150, a radius of 25, a size of one to one and a half. And I recommend turning off the casting of shadow and flowers for better performance. Then go ahead and select one single flower and you can go ahead and start placing these where you feel fit. Once all of that looks good to you, then you can go ahead and start painting the landscape. Go back into the landscape tool, go to paint, select for instance the dirt pad. A good pad size is a size of 300 to 400 and I recommend a strength of 0.7. Then you can actually go ahead and draw out your paths here. So you just go with your feeling and create whatever you think looks good. You can adjust your speed to move around the map a bit quicker. Speed of five is recommended for this. Yeah, and just make it look like uh, an actual believable piece of nature. Go with your gut feeling. That's what I always recommend. Now that we got some pads here, we can go ahead and start placing some more details. So what I recommend at this point is actually selecting some rocks and start placing these into your landscape. Some handy tips and tricks here. If you drag out a rock, if you press W, you go into this gizmo tool for location. E, you go into this rotation tool and R, you go into the scaling tool. Now what I recommend is that we have this very cool rock in here. For this rock, it's always cool if it's on top of a cool mountain. So go into your sculpting tool, landscape sculpting tool, go into sculpt mode and make yourself a bit of a cool hill for this. Something that the player can reach and be on top of and then make an indent where the player is supposed to jump over it. So something like this. As you see, something like that looks really cool. I recommend then drawing a path to it so that you invite players over to make use of this. So go into your landscape tool, go into paint and then select the dirt path that fits this scene. So I recommend using the white dirt path for these white rocks. Just like this. There you go. So that looks good to me. And then you can create multiple areas of this. So you can make more of these white areas and more of these like brownish looking areas. Then next we have this very cool stone objects. You can place these along some paths as well. Finish it off with some more trees. Sometimes the trees will not fit perfectly into the landscape. So what you can then do is go into the select tool of the foliage. You can select that specific tree, simply drag it down till you think it's nice. This way you can also place them in different locations or scale them up or rotate them. And then give your landscape some finishing touches with some of these other meshes over here. So add some cool ferns to your landscape. You can place these both with the foliage tool or just place them by hand. Also make sure to place some cool bushes. We also included some of these cool detail pieces like a fallen over tree or tree stumps like these. These will be cool in an area like this. So place some of these tree stumps and then make the scenery believable by having a fallen over tree next to it.
last be sure to place plenty of rocks throughout your entire landscape. We also included these cool blueprints. You can place them in an area where you feel like they will really come to life. Perhaps on top of this little rock here. Place them high in the sky, something like that. Yep. And then to finally really top it off, you can go ahead and create yourself a port. So this kit also includes a modular port. For this I recommend turning on your grid modes. It's always cool to create another fort like this. You can then twist that one a little bit. Have it be like this, for instance. And perhaps another one over here, something like this. And then at last, adjust your landscape so that these actually touch the floor. All right. And guys, that's pretty much all. This way you see you can easily create a very cool environment using this asset kit. And then, uh, well, the last thing to do is actually let's place a player start. Change your game mode to your game mode, in this case third person. And you can go ahead and play your landscape. Here we go. Okay guys, so that is how you set up a beautiful environment. Uh, if you still have any questions, you can always contact us in the Discord server where I actually give a lot of support. I also help people in the voice channel here and there. So uh, yeah, or leave down a, a comment in the, the comment section. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this beautiful product that we made, much more coming soon. So I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe because we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. We already have 240 people on our Discord join that as well. All right, see you later guys, bye bye.